my shoulder into this is a free version of MailChimp um, to show you what you can do. So first of all, if you're in Squarespace, you can connect your e-commerce to add them to your MailChimp list or to add them to Squarespace campaigns. Um, if you're in WooCommerce, you can just keep track of everybody and just add your customers to your, to your MailChimp list. Keep track of everybody. Um, and one thing that you can automate, so we'll look at here. So I have moved this account to ConvertKit, but I still left this here so that um, I can use it for demos. So when somebody lands on your list, so basically say every so often people, you have purchasers come through, you add them to your list, you want them to get a single welcome email from you. Um, the problem with the free plan is you can't send a sequence of emails automated, you can only send one email at a time. So here's what you can do. Single welcome email. If you need to set up a new one, you do create campaign. Automated. Welcome new subscribers. This is online course check-in. So they will have received an email confirming their access to the course and their file download or their access instructions. So we used to check in with them at a certain point. Hit begin. So here, edit, delay, and recipients. So we don't want it to get to them immediately. Um, ideally, you'll be checking your purchases every few days and adding people on. It's OK if you don't follow up with somebody for about a week. Um, so maybe we'll say um, one day after, whenever you add them to this list, save. Here again, you'll edit your subject to something like, how is it going? And you can edit your content to just say checking in if you have any questions or if you want to alert them to something that they should be paying attention to throughout this course process. You'll basically set this up so that they will get it after you add them in. Now the problem is you can't then send another email in two weeks um, automatically. But to shorten sort of the process, what you can do then is send this email one day after you add them to your list, and then you can create a tag. So email subscribers when they're tagged is another way to do this. So then you create another campaign, automated, email subscribers when they're tagged. So what you'll do now is you'll add them to a list and you'll create a tag for them. So we need to edit the tag. All right, so say we have customer here, client. We're gonna wait two weeks. So now we're gonna check with, in with them about a few days after they purchase and then two weeks later. And then you'll design out this email the same way. And again, we can't add any more emails, so we're going to design it out with whatever we need, like, have you done this yet? If you have any questions, all of that. Next, without starting, you would start yours. And then you can do another one. So say we have now our few days out. We have our two weeks out. Now we're going to do automated when they're tagged. So we're gonna edit this. So we're gonna say weeks, and we're gonna say three weeks. So now when they're tagged as a client, when you add them to your list, tag them as a client, they're gonna get an email a few days after they're added to that list, two weeks out because of the tag, and then three weeks out because of the tag. Save and exit. So you would design out the email and all of that. So this is a workaround you can employ. It's really not convenient if you do are getting like hundreds of orders a day. But if you're someone who's you know expecting you know 
one to 20 orders a week. This way you can go in and add your contacts manually and add as many emails as you want using this tag method so that you don't have to purchase a paid version of MailChimp in the beginning. You know, I, my guess is you're here because you're starting up a business or a side project. You want to keep it lean. You don't want a lot of software costs. Using this method, this is how you go about sort of creating that email sequence without upgrading to a paid version of MailChimp.